Hey guys, it's Erica from a littleinsanity.com and today I want to share with you my recipe for homemade salsa in the Vitamix. This recipe uses all fresh raw ingredients and contains no gluten since there is no vinegar. There's very little prep work and with the Vitamix, this recipe couldn't be any easier. The tools and ingredients you'll need for this recipe are your trusty Vitamix and tamper, approximately six large ripe tomatoes, one sweet onion, one lime, one jalapeno, or you can choose hotter peppers to your liking, three cloves of garlic, a few sprigs of fresh cilantro or to your taste, salt and pepper to taste. You'll also need a sharp knife, cutting board, and some airtight containers to store your salsa. So a quick tip whenever you're handling spicy peppers, it's a good idea to wear some sort of rubber glove or have some sort of barrier between you and the peppers, especially when deseeding it. The seeds contain a lot of oil and can easily burn your skin or eyes if you touch them. Start by throwing in your one skinned onion, your de-seeded jalapeno, and your three cloves of garlic into the Vitamix. Secure the lid on your Vitamix. Have your tamper ready. We're going to flip the machine on and change the variable speed just enough to get these ingredients minced. Once those initial three ingredients are minced, don't overprocess them. It's time to add our other ingredients. Okay, we're going to start by throwing in the three of the tomatoes. In order to make a little more room in the Vitamix, we're just going to go ahead and flip it on quickly. Add the remaining three tomatoes. Your lime and your salt and pepper. Go ahead and add in your cilantro leaves. Put your lid on securely. Put your tamper in place. We're going to start by turning the machine on and moving from variable speed 1 to between 5 and 7. We don't want to over process the ingredients. So at this point, the salsa is going to look a little bit pink and perhaps even a little foamy at the top. That's okay. As time goes on, this mixture is going to turn even darker red and the foam will disappear. Pour the salsa into your storage containers or mason jars. So as you can see, this recipe yielded two large mason jars or 64 ounces of salsa. And that's all there is to it. You have fresh salsa. You can also make this recipe in your food processor as well. Just be sure to chop up the ingredients before you place them inside the container. So if you'd like to try this recipe for yourself, you can find the full ingredients and tool list over at my website at alittleinsanity.com or you can leave me a comment down here below on YouTube and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day. God bless. Goodbye.